the love of my own. Oh, oh, for the love of my own. Oh, oh, oh. She wasn't very fashionable. Not like in England or in France. She was short on money. She could barely sing, barely dance. Oh, I thought that I was better, but I never found the proof. Oh, try to keep my distance. We both knew the truth. God has a plan for the love of our all, oh, for the love of our all, oh, oh, oh. She belonged to another. I became my brother's keeper. Crazy, crazy love. I carried her trouble like a jewel in my hand. Crazy, crazy love. God has a plan for the love of our all, all for the love of our. Said God has a plan for the love of our all. Why so gloomy? Lord Ebery, what are you doing here? I'm on my way back to New Jersey. There's something wrong with this ship. They're fixing it. I don't know what's wrong with it. My life has become so complicated. I'm not who I seem. I too have lived a double life. Do you think I don't know about yours? What? Remember the night when I wore that beautiful burgundy taffeta dress of mine? You know the one. I was being harassed by lowlifes, and Buckskin Jack came to my rescue. How nice. Your secret will go with me to my grave. Uh, yes. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Jonathan Stratford. Is he home? I was hoping you could tell me where he is. He sailed away to do some errands and hasn't been back for a few days. Really? Is there something I could help you with? It could be. I'll let you know. Charles was feeling rather low because he realized even though he finally had Anne all to his little self, she would never love him. A woman like me who breaks stallions easily could tame a rogue such as you it wouldn't be hard to do you're all the same it truly is such
such a shame The beasts with four legs are two The differences are few A sweet little filly might not know what she's got She might only ride at a mere canter or trot I don't care if you're fresh off the shallow I will take you from stop to full gallop Oh, things are gonna get hot Most intrigued For once I feel out of my league Pardon my jaw won't stop Continuing to drop For I have found A woman who's most profound A woman who Likes it on top, and not afraid to wield a crop. A sweet little filly might not know what she's got. She might only ride at a mere canter or trot. But you don't care if I'm fresh off the shallop. You will take me from stop to full gallop. Oh, things are gonna get. Things are gonna get hot. For this evening's entertainment, uh, I have prepared a new song, Pucklebell's Canon in D minor. Wait. Is this one of Jonathan's sick jokes? There is a message. It's written in a language I don't understand. Maria? Maria! Maria! Maria, do you understand this? To the master of the house, submit yourself to me or else... Or else what? Late that night, Charles and Anne were abducted from their beds, taken hostage by a couple of mercenaries working for Goldfeather. When Anne could walk no further, Charles, upstanding gentleman that he is, carried her on his back. What is happening to us? I do believe we've been kidnapped. And now we're being held for ransom. Ransom? And the ransom being... Jonathan. Jonathan? Yep. What would anybody want with Jonathan? The price on his head is worth a pretty penny. The price on his head? Jonathan isn't exactly who you think he is. He's Buckskin Jack. And he won't be coming to rescue us. Because... I might have told him to go away and never come back. Why would you do a thing like that? Because I, I wanted you for myself. I don't believe any of this. I, um, I need some time to think. Well, time is all you have left, and not very much of that. Maria went to see the grandfather she shared with Buckskin Jack and told him of the kidnapping. She figured if there were any dirty dealings going on in the backwoods, his finger wouldn't be too far from the pulse. When the old man shared news of the troubles with Thomas, Thomas, without a moment's hesitation, 
offered to lead the charge to rescue Charles and Nan. Now upon hearing this, the old man decided it was finally time to bequeath the axe to someone worthy. <laughs>